Lancashire languishing as top order topples. Dan Lawrence responded to being left out of England's squad to face New Zealand with an unbeaten 100 at Old Trafford against Lancashire. Despite opportunities being at a premium, the hosts had taken wickets at regular intervals. Essex reduced to 280 for seven, still little to separate the two. But while day one's weather had favoured batting, the moist and overcast conditions on day two would have had Jimmy Anderson licking his lips. But it was a stop-start first session, off for rain and back on again, as Essex made their way past 300. No breakthroughs for the hosts so far. A mismatch on paper, but Snater backed himself against Anderson and did well. Two boundaries in an over, and the Essex number nine was proving to be a thorn in Lank's side and providing Lawrence with some crucial support. A quick single called through by Snater saw Lawrence clutch at his hamstring. He would continue, but with Matt Critchley now doing the running. The 50 came up in unorthodox circumstances. Snater with the wherewithal to swipe Wood's bumper for six. The Essex bowler left in a heap at the crease nonetheless. Wood responded with a key wicket. Lawrence out for 120, chipping a catch to Jimmy Anderson, the breakthrough Lancashire needed. But there would be no more before lunch. Snater and Cook wandering off with the score 341 for eight. The session belonged to Essex. Shane Snater is more than a bowler who can bat a bit, and after lunch he was once again at the vanguard for Essex, first taking them beyond 350, and then to a well-deserved 50 of his own, scored off 69 balls. His innings had given Essex a really strong position. Confidence was coursing through his veins, more punishment for Wood, and the ninth wicket was worth 50 off 78 balls with two off Parkinson. Hassan Ali brought his knock to an end, seven shy of equaling the career best he posted against Northamptonshire this season. Out LBW for 72, Essex down to their last wicket, 400, just nine more away. That was a mark they wouldn't reach. Jamie Porter sent back by Cook, but the throw was inch perfect from Josh Bahannon. Essex were all out for 391. The day had gone perfectly to plan for them, but it was not what Lancashire had hoped for at all. Lawrence had been excellent for his 120, bravely playing on despite injury, and Snater will be disappointed not to have improved his career best. Bailey had finished with the most wickets. He'd worked hard for his three for 61. And the day didn't get much better for Lancashire. After scoring a new career best last time out against Yorkshire, Jennings could only muster four against Essex, trapped in front by Sam Cook. Bahannon made it two, out for a duck, trapped in front by Porter. And Croft fell to the very next ball, well caught by a diving Sir Alistair Cook. They were only up to 14 when Wells had his pad smacked by Sam Cook and the hosts were in real trouble. Even the captain couldn't spark a recovery. Unable to withdraw the bat in time, Snater drags on. Salt and Wood clung on, the respite of T beckoned, with Essex all over them, the score 32 for 5. The Manchester weather kept the hosts out of the firing line, the gloom descending on Emirates Old Trafford during the changeover, and no more play was possible. Relief in one sense for languishing Lancashire, but a long day lay ahead. They'll resume 359 in arrears, with just five wickets in hand when they return tomorrow.